Hold on to your tentacles! Wouldn't you know it? It's in Godpost News time yet again. Like, we haven't seen this one before. And the current regular battle stages are... Oh, boy! Urchin Underpass! Dah! I think securing the central area here is key. I staged my attacks from from some of those side alleys. Callie, shut up! I want them all! We've seen this in like three times already! Help! I have a sudden craving for peanut butter! Great stage tip, Callie. Really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, now as for ranked, it's all spray rank. Uh, this is like an oil field, right? Should we really be tossing explosives around? They're ink bombs, not TNT. It's totally safe. Oh boy. You see him, Dolphon Cena. Ah, I just love art. Art smart. I wish this was a science museum. Someone really likes Kosai. Until next time. Take please. Oh boy. Well. I guess on that note, hey everybody, it's the D-Rock 100, and welcome back to our old Splatoon! We Last time, we played around with the fresh squiffer, and I actually did not too shabby. Beep. Whoop! Whee! Ta-da! Okay. So, wow. Voice cracking right at the very beginning. What would they think of next? So anyway... We got one more zap fish and we're gonna go after, which is what we're gonna do this time. So, brrr, boom. Spreader Splatfest. Ink stains and tail drops. I have no idea what that means, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Oh, this thing. Ooh. We got hot air balloons all over the place. And dang, some of these look loud. All right, watch out for those spreaders. I mean, they're really not that dangerous. All you have to do is just not get. Sp I mean, yeah, we got nothing to worry about. All you have to do is just cover the ink, and that's it. Hello, goodbye. Now, the second scroll for this map is an absolute jerk. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. But anyway, come on over here and whip. Nice shot. All right. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Now let's just go ahead, cover that in cheese. Hey, what you? I was about to say, stop bopping your head on nothing. All right, there we go. Oh, pfft. Whoops. <laughs> uh, here we go. So, what's your favorite food, Bucko? Mine be crabby cakes. Well. I guess fish sticks is technically my favorite seafood, even though it's like the only one I've ever had, but I can't eat them anymore. Unless, I, I guess it's a farm race, but either way, I can't eat seafood, so you guys are safe from my kind of species. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to stay under this one, and then we're just going to come right on down here. And hello, sunken scroll. Alright. So stay in a squid for a moment or two, and then yep, and boop, boom. Oh, okay. All right, and yeah, here we go, up we go, and we get one fish egg. Talk about wombo combo, hi. Oh, hello. Now give me some good fish eggs. I'm still in the fact that we're not exactly the good guys here because we're enslaving other creatures and turning them into mush. But then again, what am I complaining about? And oh, this asshole. All right. Boo! It's always weird on how they made that sound like. <laughs> Sure, these guys are more ear-pleasing than what I just gave you. And hello. Hi. I, I, I said hi. Oh boy. Uh, how about you just stare? Uh, no, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh boy. All right. Oh boy. All right. 
Can I? Oh boy. All right. Uh. <coughs> what the? Where'd the other one go? Did I get him? Well, I guess if I sunk him, I guess I did get him. But either way, boom. There we go. Brown, 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 brown. Oh. Yippee! So what do we got? The ink spray during the turf war vanishes almost immediately after the battle ends. How environmentally friendly and incredibly convenient. Incredibly convenient. <laughs> so yeah, um, you've probably seen this stuff from before, but this is pretty much a list of every ink and that they go up against for which color. I personally like the dark blue and dark red on the top right from right there. And also, the one on the bottom left looks kind of pretty fun. But anyway, enough about all of that. We now have our next ink kettle unlocked to us. Let's get enough damage head to the boss kettle, buckle. Uh, no. Because at this point, we're going to get running into our weapon. Which weapon is that going to be? I shall call her Sasha. The Heavy Splatling. I'm excited to play this weapon, guys. Because up next is one of my personal favorites. Sasha. Say hello. Or shall I like to call you? The Heavy Splatling. This thing is downright Dope. I love this thing so much. It has the same base damage as that of the Splatter Shot Jr., but just look at its stats. This thing is great. I love this thing. It does have a, a large range of continuous fire, and in, this is what I have to call a heavily modified charger, where it doesn't act like a sniper, it kind of acts out like a rapid fire gun. In other words, they turn this into a chain gun. Or I guess in my case, Gatling gun. <laughs> the Gatling, this uh, beauty of a Gatling gun, hence the name, does uh, weigh down in the uh, wear, well, the wielder, because of its heavy movements. And this thing has a four hit kill instead of, uh, instead of a three. The only way home this thing can turn into a five hit kill is if your opponent is attacking I think two main slots of defense up. But either way, this thing, if used correctly, this thing is a beast and I love this thing. Its sub weapon is the splat. <sighs> splash wall. Not splat wall. What the heck's a freaking splat wall? But anyway, uh, the splash wall is great, especially if we were trying to use it to charge up your shots. But in all honesty, who needs it that type of when you have some good movements anyway, if you know what you're doing? Although then again, this could make you much less squishy when you're trying to get away from your enemies. And of course, it's special is the Ink Strike. Firing off this little beauty is great, especially if you're trying to take care of long range enemies like, say, snipers. But this thing can outrange a few chargers and just... And it does barely pass that, I believe, of the, of the squelcher. For equipment, I want to give a special attention to run speed up. Run speed up does affect the mobility of this. And all in all, this thing is a very good weapon. And of course, of course you can always have a little bit of some damage up. You, This can be turned into a pretty good amount of... Well, I guess that's a bad choice of words. I have not tried this one before, but I think you can get up to 33.3 damage of what the amount of of a damage up. But if you could do that, this thing is great. One thing to really watch out for is that it does take a while for this weapon to charge up. So unless it, if you're going to try to take your enemies out from above, you might want to consider that. Next up on Lock Hunt at level 9 is the Heavy Splatling Deco. This thing has the exact same stats, except this thing has medium special depletion. This one may not be the most popular one, but I like to consider this one unique. 
Its sub-weapon is the Point Sensor! Ooh, it's great if when you need to target your enemies so you can always uh, take care of them pretty easily, even if they're ducking their own ink. And plus, it's dirt cheap! And having plenty of these can really make you hit your targets well. But then again, if you're someone like me who likes it to use the Point Sensor to its finest, you can always just do what I do by targeting them and then cracking them! <laughs> yep, you guessed it. The special is the Kraken. We've seen this combination of once before, and this is really good for the heavy splatling. And it really shines, especially with all of the gems it has. It's been fabulous. Um, Swift Speed Up is actually a little bit more recommended now, especially if you're going to be using that Kraken. Because Swim Speed Up does affect the Kraken. Which I think I already explained it from before, but I think you get what I'm trying to go for here. And of course, who could forget about the Sheldon's pick that's also very popular. The Heavy Splatling Remix. It has the exact same stats, except this one it has a light special depletion. It's special, or I guess in this case sub actually, is the Sprinkler. Always great if you need to cover more turf on certain points of the map. But what could be great for that? Of course, you can use that as bait. But, by getting plenty of turf, this gives you the Killer Whale. Cheapest special in the game? Always a great to have. In fact, the very use of Sprinkler and the Heavy Splatling makes this even more affordable. Because keep in mind, the Killer Whale is the cheapest special in the game. So if you can get by all of that, my god, it's good. Of course, and like I said, since it's a charger, and it does take a little bit of time to cover the most of the turf of this thing, but do not forget to use your sprinkler to its finest. In fact, if used correctly, this whole set is based on using the Killer Whale. And having plenty of special charge-ups, this will make it even more affordable. I also want to give a special attention to Ink Recovery Up. Mostly for this set, but I guess for the other sets as well. Regaining Ink is great, and even with the use of the Sprinkler, it can be, can be used incorrectly, I guess. But hey, if you can get by all that, the Heavy Splatting Remix is one of them that I highly recommend. I'm excited to play this weapon, guys, and in all honesty, I better keep it no surprise I'm going to be going with the Heavy Splatling Remix. Because this is one of those Sheldon's picks that I fell in love with the minute I picked it up. And, I'm going to be honest with you, I think I'm going to have a pretty fun time with this weapon. Oh no, I'm focusing greatly on that special charge up because I do want to get that freaking thing killer whale as much as possible. Every single one of these, it has special charge up, and unfortunately I have one sub of special duration up, and I do want to quickly mention one other thing. Bond range up does not affect on sprinklers. I've had a couple of people that are saying that it does, it doesn't. And as for how I look, I guess I'm a cosplay of a samurai who Decided to not you know, wear the proper shoes or headband for this one because, well, the, the helmet had spikes on it and they wouldn't allow it. To, and the order did not come in in time for when I needed to get the shoes. It is a sad day for a cosplayer. It looks like the R1 Amal is first. I mean, I think R1 mods have been probably the mostly used one. And ooh, we got a couple of snipers. And ooh, they got a, a deco uh, splatling. Ooh, this will be something. All right, so yep. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that head a little sprinkler down there, and launch the killer whale. Yeah, using the killer whale with the right amount of special charge up, especially for a weapon like this one. You'll be getting this a lot. And trust me, I am a beast when it comes in for the use of this weapon correctly. So let's see if I can get another one from right up here. Well, I didn't last long. 
die. <sighs> All right. All right, let's see here if I can possibly get someone. Oh! I washed my laundry! <laughs> Uh, what am I doing with my life? Ooh! They've been echolocated! Ooh! Double kill! Oh well. Sucks to be a prop! Alright. So, so far not too shabby. Yeah, you ain't squid bag hanging us today, Bob. Wait. Like. I did it. Uh, of course they're playing the splatter shot, Junior. Of course they are. Of course they are. Yeah, you just fly off like no one cares. Let's see if I can sneak up on the bitch. All right. I'm gonna try to cover as much trouble as I can. Where did, where did, where did, where did it go? Oh well. I'll just do that. Or I won't do that. Let's see if there's hiding here. Someone hiding from over there. Nope. Didn't look like it. I wasted it and hit it, but not to worry. Oh crap. Okay. I think I'm stuck. Kind of. Come on. Oh boy. I kind of want to super. Okay. I'm rehearsing for Shakespeare. I just realized I got the most hit. Oh, I got the most kills! Okay. Okay, if I can at least lose, I'll be fine, because I'm guaranteeing he did, well, I, need, I need to eat at least 400 points on that one, but if I can at least do that, that would be great. It looks like an urgent bunch of passes next! Yay! So, so if I need to at least, at least, at, Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay, guys. Let's not fool around. But, uh, come on, guys. Come on. Quit slacking off. Don't make me have to do all the work here. Alright. I'm trying to pressure these guys into full with them the use of my killer whale. And trust me, with the use of this, we're getting this a lot. All right. All right. So let's see here. Um, can't really tell where some of them are at. Let's see if I can try do this. All right. Gotcha. Ah! Ah! Oh, whoa! This guy's a god. Run speed up for days. Someone's been taking some good advice. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna launch some sprinklers so I can at least try to ink some more turf. I'm guaranteed to get up to the next level, so. It. Ah. Already low on ink. Give me. All right. All right. I have no idea where anyone is at, but let's see if I can at least try to pressure someone. Oh, oh boy. All right, where are you? Crap. I got a little cocky thing. Oh no. All right. 
promise I'm good with this weapon, guys. All right. That's good as I'm gonna do for a while. What the? Man, that kelp splatter scope. Oh boy. Ah, that guy's already entered our uh, base. And this might be bad because kelp splatter scopes have longer range. Alright, buddy, where are you? Gotcha. That'll teach you. Alright, and it, where, where, where are our guys? Okay, guys. We got people that already turfed our base. What are you doing? Alright. Alright. I have not gotten a single kill with my killer whale yet. Oh boy. Oh, come on! Uh, we lost again. Yep, we lost. We lost, trust me. We lost. Oh, that's a bit of a narrow victory, but we still lost nonetheless. Now I got the most deaths. Ouch. But hey, at least I leveled up. Yay! All right. Let's hear what Judd has to say because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like, Mew, you really sucked butt today. You really should have gone on with the vanilla. Since everyone says that the vanilla is the better one of the group. Meow, sticking to walls isn't the only distinctive feature of suction bombs. They also take a little longer to explode than splat bombs do. But in return, the explosion deal damage over a wider area. They're perfect for chasing foes on narrow walkways up high. Well, you didn't really say that, Tenet, but I guess it's better than nothing, I guess. But anyway, uh, now that that's all done, we're going to go ahead and end things off from right here. Next time, we're going after our next uh, boss and obtaining another blueprint containing another charger. Boom with the worst sub-weapon. See you guys then.